Good afternoon and greetings from Brussels. It's an honor to address all of you at today's summit. In Europe, the energy transition is at full speed. Already 38% of our electricity comes from renewables. Our commitment is to become climate neutral by 2050. One year ago, the Russian invasion of Ukraine kicked off a huge shift in how we think about our energy system. We have not changed course, but simply the speed at which we reach our end destination. Our sustainability and climate goals remain the same. Our ambition is now even higher. As part of our Repower EU plan, accelerating the rollout of renewables is central. It is a strategic investment, not only in our sustainable future and economic growth, it's the key to unlocking our energy security. Every kilowatt hour of electricity we generate from solar, wind, hydropower or biomass is one less that we rely on from fossil fuels. We see our partners across the globe leading similarly ambitious energy transitions. India is a strong ally in this regard. Under the EU-India Clean Energy and Climate Partnership, we cooperate across many sectors. Energy efficiency, renewables, including supporting an emerging offshore wind sector in Tamil Nadu and Gujarat, are all part of the agenda. And it aligns perfectly with India's own ambitions, 500 gigawatts of non-fossil fuel energy produced by 2030. We will work hand in hand with India on what will help you reach these ambitious goals. Electricity grid integration and regional interconnections come to mind. No doubt, renewable hydrogen will be part of your success. Last year, we had our first EU-India Green Hydrogen Forum. Decarbonizing heavy industry and other hard-to-abate sectors demands a solution. Hydrogen can be that solution, and it will be a pillar of our energy dialogue in the future. A swift transition also means stable global supply chain. The last few years have taught us not to take these for granted. We rely on secure supply chain for the raw materials of our energy future. Solar panels, batteries and electrolyzers. So we will work with India and others, such as the International Solar Alliance, to diversify our supply chain and make them more resilient in the process. In this spirit, the EU and its member states are the biggest providers of global public climate finance. For the second year in a row, we have exceeded 23 billion euro in support and we put pressure on our partners to step up their climate finance to the global south. Finally, the heart of our energy transition is a just transition. We must leave no one behind. Inclusivity means closing the energy access gap and Africa is a priority continent. We launched last year the Global Gateway Investment Package for Africa and the Africa EU Green Energy Initiative. The EU will mobilize about 3.4 billion euros of grants to support renewable energy, energy efficiency, the just transition and the greening of local value change. We are supporting just transition in partner countries that depend on coal, such as Vietnam, Indonesia and South Africa. All combined, it means tackling energy poverty across the globe. It means supporting coal regions in the transition to a more diversified future. And it means, finally, closing the gender gap. These are values we strongly believe in. And I know that from today's topic, we are not alone in sharing them. Ladies and gentlemen, my congratulations to our friends from Terry for organizing today's event. I'm wishing you excellent discussions. Thank you.